T-G-I-F. Man, I'm glad this week is over with. Oh my God, y'all just don't know. This COVID-19 is what they call it now. They got a new word for it, new scientific. You know how they, they, they just try to cut words in half and find new ways to say them? This, this coronavirus has made things worse. It's made people very disrespectful. Like, seriously. Um, it, it just has, man. It's been an impact on our lives. Uh, you, you got people just buying nine cases of water, uh, nine cases of toilet tissue. Just, I mean, they buying a bottle of alcohol. They buying a bottle of sanitizer. They, you got people like me wearing masks and shit. You know, everybody was making fun of Michael Jackson for wearing masks. Y'all remember y'all was doing that shit? I'm trying to figure out why Michael Jackson, you know, making fun of him, the king of pop, the greatest of all time. Remember y'all was talking shit about Michael Jackson? And now y'all, everybody, I'm, me, myself, wearing masks and shit. You get what I'm saying? But this made society, just the people, disrespectful. I mean, you got people thinking they doctors now. Everybody's a doctor. Everybody. Everybody know every damn thing. You know, somebody want to tell me about my mask. Hey, man, you know that mask don't work. You got to get a, a, a code 45 slash G14 mask. Like, what? Since who, what school did you go? I asked this guy one time. I got I got so sick of people thinking they know every damn thing. This guy wanted, this guy, he weighed like 900 pounds. Uh, uh, unhealthy as hell, you know. But gonna try to tell me about my mask. Hey man, you know that's the wrong mask. You know, this dude's smoking everything. I'm like, really man, really? You wanna tell me, you sitting up here with all that going on with yourself and you wanna tell me about my mask? I said, man, let me worry about that, dog. I'm doing the best I can to try to wash my hands and carry around sanitizer and, you know, keep my distance from people and wear masks. And, you know, you know, I'm just doing the best I can, man. That's all. Leave me alone. But uh, everybody's a damn doctor. They know everything. I had a guy come up to me, hey, man, you know, you, you, you're not going to catch it. If you haven't caught it already, man, you're not going to catch it. What? How you know? You know, I'm just... People, man, y'all, everybody calm down, pump your brakes, man. Do the best you can to keep yourself sanitized and safe so you can get home to your family, you know, because you don't want to bring it home. You got people, it affects everybody differently, man. You got people walking around with it, with, and, and they probably don't even know they have it because it, it affects people differently. Everybody has different symptoms. Everybody's different, man. So everybody just put, calm down and pump your damn brakes, but anyway, guys, um, the Dallas Cowboys have signed another a kicker. His name is Greg Zierlin, I think. Don't hold me to that. Y'all know I'm not really good with names. But from the, uh, the Los Angeles Rams, three-year deal, 7.5 million. I already said that. Um, he made 24 of his 33 field goal attempts last season. And he had 42 points, 42 extra points last year. So, I mean, I, I guess that's good, but do we need a kicker? We, we got on the money, Kai Forbeck. He was on the money last year. He was 10 for 10. He was ice water. But, let me say this. It's always good to bring in competition because that makes you play harder. You get what I'm saying? So maybe... maybe Hell, he already he, he's gonna be on the team because he signed a three-year deal, seven point five million dollars. So, I mean, I don't know what that says to Kai, but shit, hey, hey man. But I, I just thought if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. But if y'all didn't know, that, I just want to give you a heads up, give me something to talk about, you know. Uh, Dallas Cowboys have signed another kicker, Greg Zierlin. I think that's his name. That's all I got, man. I just wanted to run my mouth. I really wanted to run my mouth about what's been going on with me through the week. You know, dealing with people, you know. I wish I could stay at home like my wife and kids. You know, they ain't got to deal with people. The people keep the damn virus alive. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they quarantine. You're supposed to be under quarantine. You're supposed to be at home. And everybody, ain't nobody following the damn rules. Everybody's just going to work and 
you know, I mean, which is fine. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But a, a lot of these places aren't, you know, shouldn't be open, but they are. You know, I can understand doctor's offices and, with, you know, supplies and things like medical supplies and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, every, everybody else, y'all take y'all ass home, you know, because y'all y'all just keeping the damn virus alive. But uh, that's all I got, man. Really nothing else. I don't know if we're doing a round table this weekend, guys. If, if we are, we'll, we'll let y'all know. But uh, it'll be Saturday, um, Saturday night, 10 o'clock Central Time. Uh, my Cowboys family will be on their channel, Fifth Quarter Cowboys, hopefully, uh, and, and Dallas Cowboy Football News and myself, Dallas Cowboy Fan 1980. Uh, we'll probably be doing, uh, you know, there's still some things going on to talk about and to discuss, so we'll probably be doing a roundtable, so y'all make sure y'all tune in. But I just wanted to give y'all an update, you know, Dallas Cowboys, they are making some moves, man, like seriously. They are making some moves. They are making sure they are, they are dotting their, Dotting her eyes and crossing her T's. God damn it. I was about to say dotting her T's and crossing her eyes. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They're, they are they are making sure that, like I said in my last video, they are making sure that this draft is a lot easier and laid back for us. We just need a couple of rookies, you know, still draft a defensive tackle, uh, draft the secondary, safeties and corners, uh, draft the linebacker, draft the offensive lineman. You gotta have an offensive lineman every draft because you gotta keep that uh, that fresh rotation. You know that fresh produce. You know when the grocery go to the grocery store and they putting fresh produce out there because all the old shit's still on there. They put the old shit on top. You know what I'm saying with the experience or whatever. So you, that'll that'll go first and put the new newer shit at the bottom or in the back. You get what I'm saying? So you gotta keep a fresh batch of offensive linemen. Out there because that's a football team. That's the start of your football team. What do I like? What do I always say? That's the toothpaste of your football team, guys. Make sure you stay cowboy up, prayed up. You never know what the day is gonna bring you. Elevate your boy.